Hi guys, welcome back. I feel like I haven't done a sit down video in a while. Um, hi, if you're new, my name is Sarah and uh, I make a lot of different types of videos, mom videos like these, but also a lot of plus size fashion videos, beauty videos, home decor, cleany, lifestyle, you name it, I'm doing it. Um, and uh, if you wanna check out more, I would love that. And hit that red subscribe button below so you get notified. Oh, and the bell, that's important too apparently um so you get notified and when i post and you can uh stick around with us because i would love that but today's video is going to be a massive back to school haul so if you don't know if you've never been to my channel before if you don't remember i have two kids i'm actually a mom of two i know i look like i'm 12 but i actually do have two kids <laughs> and one is about to be four in november and one is 16 months old 17 months old she's just about to be 17 months old um and my four-year-old is actually gonna start her first official pre-k year this year our uh, three-year-old going up for preschool pre-k kind of vibe um i ha run my own home daycare and she's been with me her whole entire first three years of life so far but I definitely want to put her in an environment, a school environment, so she can get used to it. And also being able to learn from other people and other teachers, not just her mom. I think that'll be good for her. Also, obviously, socializing uh, socializing with other kiddos her age. I loved back to school shopping when I was a kid. It was my favorite time of the year. I would go shopping with my mom. And then I would come home and I would try on all the outfits and do a fashion show for my dad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anybody else did that. Um, and just because I was so excited, I wanted to show everybody my new clothes, and now I finally can do back to school clothes again. So Ollie was really excited. So we're just gonna hop in right now. So the first thing I have is this lunchbox. <laughs> um, I got this at Target. It is, I believe, oh, it's not from Cat Jack. It's all in, it's all in the lunch bag, I guess. I don't, I have no idea if that's the brand, um, but it was from Target. It was $7.99. It has a cute little unicorn horn, some fun unicorn ears that are fuzzy. I love the, like, metallic, what is the word I'm thinking? Holographic, there we go. Um, patenty, vinyl-y lunchbox. It does have, like, a cute other uh, place to hold your cup. This one's actually pretty big and pretty deep. So, um, Ollie actually already has a lunchbox, and that should be coming in the mail along with her backpack. I will insert a picture. They're from Pottery Barn. It's like the Disney Princess print. I wanted to get her something that was going to last all year and be durable, so I got that. That was on sale. Um, and this I found, and I actually think I'm going to give it to Eleanor, or on days that I give a bento box to Ollie that's a bit bigger and may not fit in that lunchbox. This is really big and really deep, if you can't tell. So this is perfect to me for a bento box. Um, or if you have taller leg containers, um, this is a really great size for that. And I love that there is an extra little pocket for your drink or an extra like silverware or whatever you need on the side. I love that. So this was $7.99 at Target. It's so cute and like girly it makes me think of kind of like Lisa Frank and I love it. All right, I'm just gonna grab and pull, guys. I, I, I'm just gonna grab and pull. Um, the next thing I have is this adorable thing from Target, this little two-piece outfit and dress. Um, I feel like Target hasn't brought out enough of their stuff yet. I feel like a lot of their stuff is still older um, from summertime, and I've checked three different Targets now, and nothing seems to be really updated for clothes-wise, so I'm a little sad. At least they're Cat and Jack stuff. This is the, um, I think the Oshkosh brand, Genuine Kids by Oshkosh from Target. Now this was $19.99, so this was, and I had no discount. It was a pretty penny. I would, normally would have never spent that much money um, on something like this, but it was so pretty. I think this would be amazing for fall and Thanksgiving, for school photos. It gives me like a 1970s vibe. The shirt is completely separate, so she can wear either piece on itself by itself, so when it gets a bit colder, she can wear a long sleeve underneath this with tights. Um, and then wear this separately. This is pretty heavy. Like it's a it's a thick warm dress It's nice quality. You can tell that this is nice now. This was in the clearance section and this Is a jumpsuit 
and I love it. This, it went down in price too, to $8.48. It's totally worth it. Check your clearance racks if you can find this. So cute. I love this. This is in a 3T actually, and it is pretty big on her. So I'm glad that I sized or found the size down. I didn't find a 4T, and I'm glad because I would have probably bought the 4T. Um, and this is actually pretty big. Okay, we do have a little sweater here. This is from Walmart. Um, I, this, I think this was pretty inexpensive. Definitely, I think maybe $12, maybe under $10. I honestly cannot remember. I've done a lot of shopping for a while. <laughs> but I just thought this was so adorable. It's just this cute little sweater, but it has fringe on the bottom of it. And I think this will be really cute to layer on just like basic dresses or tops and pants and just add a little extra and be really cozy. Um, they did have this in other colors. I believe they had it in a gray and I wanna say in a black as well, but I really loved the like cream. Um, and it was just so cute. This was also, I believe, this is in a small, so a four. I love it, so cute, it looks so cute on her. This is another dress that was on the clearance racks. Um, I definitely try to go into the taller section first, but then I actually check out the little girl section. I can see by eye if it looks like it's gonna be too big, um, but other than that, if it looks a little bit, runs a little bit smaller, I will buy it. I only will get the extra small size, which is technically like a four or five, but I found this dress, and I just thought it was so sweet. It's another really pretty kind of uh, ivory color, cream color, off-white, and it has like this pretty paisley print on the bottom and like these little flowers all along it. I love this like little tie here. It's so cute. It doesn't come off or anything. It is attached, um, but it looks like an extra little like shirt or something. I don't know. It's so cute. This was from art class, which I think is like the little kids help design the clothes or something if I remember correctly. Um, and this was on sale for $5.38. This was originally like $17.99 or something. So I'm so glad I was able to snag this for such a good price. Once again, check your clearance sections. Um, this was in the little girl section. All right, we got our first pair of shoes. So for Eleanor, I found these at Walmart. She's already worn them a couple times because we had needed to wear um, some comfy little sneakers. But these are for Eleanor. These are size six. Now, she has grown out of most of all of Olive's shoes. Um, she has giant feet for her age. And she could almost fit sevens now, which is literally what Ollie just was wearing last year. So... It's crazy how fast her feet are growing. Um, but these are size six. They are still a tiny bit big. I find that they definitely, sizes vary from shoe to shoe, for her at least. But I thought these were so cute. I believe they're like $4. They were under five. And they're little unicorns. They have like sparkly little ears. You can tell I can't stay away from unicorn things. I just think these are so cute and they're totally Eleanor. They're really comfy, they're really soft, like the actual sneaker part is nice and comfortable. They're not rubbing on her feet, but the ba the bottoms are nice and hard soles. Um, adorable, so cute. And they do have multiple different designs of these, not just uh, unicorns. I believe they have like kitty cats and some other ones. So for Olive, I bought these off of Amazon. These are from, I think, Izzy and Boo or Izzy Boo. Um, they were like 20 something dollars. They were a little bit pricey, but they're so cute. Um, they are these fun suede moccasins. I love, or leathery, I don't even know. They feel like suede, I can't honestly tell you. But they have like the tassel fringe to them. They do have rubberized soles on the bottom. They are zippers, but let me tell you, the insides of these shoes feel like teddy bears. They're so soft and snuggly. I love them. These are going to be great for when it's cold outside. We don't get snow in Texas. Rarely do we get snow in Texas. We haven't gotten any for the past two years, unfortunately, or any even sort of like freeze or anything. So these are great because although they are soft and they are not snow boot appropriate, but for just cold weather, these are wonderful. And I just think they're so cute on her. I love them. These are amazing quality. Highly recommend. Okay, we're gonna start just jumping into clothes. Uh, I do have a couple more shoes, but they're like far off there. So this is first dress. 
got it from Zululi. Zululi is a great place for clothes, just like individual clothes and just cute things, cheap shoes. I love Zululi. If you've never checked them out, check them out before. Not sponsored, not anything. They don't even know I exist. I just love Zululi. Good gracious. Anyway. I actually bought this for summertime and she hasn't worn it yet. I washed it when it came in and I forgot to completely give it to her. But it's just this toucan like Hawaiian -y kind of vibe dress off the shoulder. I just thought this was really cute and she'll be able to get some wear out of it before um, the cooler weather comes in. I got this dress off of Amazon. They have multiple different types. Um, this was like $4 or something. It was super inexpensive. This is Ariel. We have the fun shimmery. Uh, mermaid scales and then the nice bow and then the jersey fabric top so cute this is in a size I think like four or five or something it's a little girl size um, it is a bit big on her right now but totally something she can grow into she can still even wear it now super really uh, just adorable I love it um, and I plan on getting more they have like Snow White and Beauty and the Beast and I just they're so cute another thing from Zoo Lily this is from a brand called a tune, A T U N, um, and it's just this adorable little dress with stars. I love just like bold stars on things, but that are spaced out. I love the way that looks. I don't know why. It has this adorable little Peter Pan collar. This is a bit big on her. It's size three four, which I thought would be perfect, but it actually is pretty big. But once again, she'll grow into it. Now this little number is from Walmart. Um, if your daughter loves My Little Pony. This is a great place to start. They also have a Rainbow Dash one that we gave a little girl for her birthday, and she's obsessed with it. Um, but this one has multiple Little Ponies on it. Ollie's just starting to break into the My Little Pony thing, um, but she just loves anything girly and pink, and it's just super cute. But it has like this cute like little cord um, chain to make it look like it's a purse, and this little heart thing. Um, and this actually does Velcro open to a little pocket and a pouch. You can store things. It's so cute. I feel like I've seen a lot of these kind of like folk, fake little purses. Um, that's like a trend for kids clothing this year. But I just thought this was so adorable for her. I wish it had a collar, but it doesn't. But it's still really cute. And this was like, I got this on sale for $5, but I think they're back up to like 7 or 9 all right, this is another little number from Amazon. Um, I see this all the time on like Instagram or Pinterest. This little set where it's the little t-shirt with the lipstick. And then these pink pants that have these cute little eyelash details. I see this all over the internet. I decided to finally uh, order it. It was super inexpensive. This t-shirt is amazing. It's super stretchy. It fits her really well. Um, and the quality of the shirt is actually really nice. I was really surprised to this t-shirt. Um, these pants are a little bit more like pajama pants. They have, they're stretchy, but they don't have a lot of like elastic where they bounce back or kind of like suction a little bit more to the frame. They're not as much leggings as they are kind of just like flowy pants, at least on her. They don't like cut back into the ankle or anything. It's still really cute. I'm just being a little bit nitpicky. Um, if you want a bit more form fitting, this may not be your thing or their thing for your kid, but it still looks really cute. And it was only like $7. So at the end of the day, it'll be worth it. And it'll still look cute on her. This next dress is also from Amazon. Um, I went, I just bought from the most random places. Normally I go to Carter's and Old Navy and Target and this year I just started buying stuff randomly. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I just didn't find things that I really loved at either of those places yet. So I'm hoping that when there are more of their fall stuff comes in, I'll like more of their stuff. But so far I haven't really loved a lot of stuff. Um, this though, I loved, this was so inexpensive and it's this adorable deer print dress basic a-line dress it has a nice stretch to it so cute this will look amazing with these boots i can't wait for her to wear this she'll be so cute so sorry to interrupt the video but i forgot to include this when i was filming so um when i was ordering i accidentally ordered another dress i ordered two of the same dress so this one is just the one I showed earlier that has the cute little deers 
um, on it with the like little fern. I don't even leaves. I can't even tell you what type. It looks like a fern. I don't know much about plants though. Um, and I ordered two. So I want to give one away to you guys. Um, this is, says it's a size, you know, 100, but it actually is a 3T. It does run a little bit big. Um, so if any of you guys are interested, if you have a daughter or a niece or a friend or something that would like this dress, then I would love to send it to you. So, okay, so if you are interested and want to win it, um, then just leave a comment below on where I can contact you, whether that be Instagram or an email address. Leave it below, um, and all you need to do is be a subscriber, and if you do have an Instagram, please follow me. That would be amazing. I always leave my uh, Instagram name, handle, whatever, <laughs> in my description box. Um, below and it's really easy for me to be able to like dm you guys out on that if that works better for you guys so just let me know well, like i said this is a 3t it does not have any tags on it um so when you get it it won't have tags but it didn't come with tags it did come in cellophane which i will put it back in just so you guys know although the cellophane looks kind of crumbled too but just know it's 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 all new <laughs> um but i happened to get two of them and didn't even realize it so my mistake is your gain so just like i said comment below if you would like to win make sure you're subscribed and uh i will randomly pick a winner and uh, contact you so this next dress is from a tune again a-t-u-n i believe this is also from zululi i just really loved this dress i don't know what brought me to it but i think i just really loved this kind it's kind of like velvety makes me think of like um curtains back from like the 90s or something and then it, it's like outlined with this metallic paint it just looks so pretty it's nice and yellow and long it's high low the bottom has this really cute um like pom-pom trim just thought this was pretty yellow looks really good on her skin tone and i just thought it was a pretty dress she loves dresses. That's why there's so many is because that's her favorite thing to wear. That's what she wants me to buy her or dresses. That's what she wants to wear to school. So that's why we have a lot of dresses. This next one also from Zulily. Um, this is another a a a tune a two u n a t u n brand. And uh, this I originally bought for Fourth of July and completely forgot about it. <laughs> but I still think it's cute. It's just white and red um, vertical stripes. It has these like little flutter sleeves really cute on her they always come out with these all the time on zulily and always different colors so definitely check back i see this stuff all the time on there this next dress is from zulily again i think this is the last zulily item so that's good um this is from b bay which is made in india um and this was size four and i just loved this it's like peasanty little dress it has this really pretty um kind of tribal print design embroidery up top and then these really cute little tassels they have little bell sleeves the ruffle on the bottom with another little pom-pom trim just so pretty once again that like orangey mustard color will look so pretty on her i just love it all right this is something that i got for Eleanor and it was so cute I got this on Amazon and it's this plaid little jumpsuit it is halter so cute has a little ruffle where the chest area it is it is a little bit big I wish that they put the sizes besides like 120 on these things so I can tell you exactly what size I ordered because it doesn't say at least US sizes but it's so cute. It is really thin, but it's perfect for like the Texas heat weather where it's or falls where it's still really hot outside, but you want to look like, you know, it's not summer anymore. Um, this looks so cute on her. It gives me like 90s Boy Meets World vibes. I love it. Love this. Super cheap too on uh, Amazon. All right. We did pick up three pairs of shoes from Cat and Jack. Um, from Target so the first pair are these adorable little black booties now that she has her little brown booties I like to also have some black pair um, and these are just so cute they make me think of little Chelsea boots 
um, and they are like glittery like sheen to them so adorable um she's being vampirina for halloween we also picked up her costume yesterday so it wasn't out of stock we've had that happen to us before so we decided to get it today um and uh or yesterday and these will be perfect for it so um these are size nine super super cute their shoes were not on sale unfortunately they're 16.99 total um but really adorable shoes the next pair um, are we just wanted like a little casual pair so we got these cute little navy blue bow shoes she still has a bunch she can currently fit that are from the spring if you guys watched my spring toddler haul um, she still has a bunch that she can fit from there so we tried to get more of like wintry vibe um, but they're so cute I love the bows the little metallic -y, um, sparkly star bow i just think it's so cute they look I, I can't everything's so cute i can't help it i know i keep saying that i'm trying to think of another adjective um these next ones are for eleanor they are size six and we got these they are totally her personality <laughs> just bright and crazy and fun they make me think of like xenon or something um i love the scalloped little trim on the velcro straps and even on the actual soles of the shoes are scalloped I just they're adorable and just like fun and totally Eleanor these were also I believe $16.99 um, this is also from Zulily I just thought this was cute it's from a brand called peekaboo it's just like a baseball raglan tee with ruffled little sleeves on the bottom this is in a size 4 I believe and um, it's a little bit big on her but it's so cute I actually got this for the first day of school that along with these little pants these are also from Zulily these are super long but they're really stretchy they feel really soft they kind of feel like um, the LuLaRoe leggings which I wasn't a big fan of to be honest but they have that like kind of velvety kind of feeling to them they're really soft and um, they have little books on them and just alarm clocks and rulers and microscopes and they're just super super freaking cute so i got those for her and i just figured that this together would look really cute and she will have a matching bow that is also from zulily and it is this adorable freaking crayon bow i wanted the pencil one the white pencil or yellow pencil but it sold out before i got it so i snatched this up before it sold out and it's just so cute it's a little clip and i just couldn't so this will be your first day of school outfit I adorable i'm just so excited i think she's gonna look so cute all right so this next piece is for eleanor and it is so freaking cute um it is from walmart and it is a little jumpsuit but the sides are like little dinosaur monster like little spikes and scales it's just so cute um i loved it totally fitting for eleanor it's totally the boys but whatever i don't ever follow those rules so with cute little bow she's gonna look adorable so fitting for her and then olives is white and black too this is also from walmart this is from health techs um and it's just this little white and black dress with little bell sleeves and ruffles um this is definitely more of like a sweatshirt type of uh fabric it's a lot thicker which is perfect for the uh, winter time and fall time and just be able to wear some tights or leggings with boots if your little one likes to wear dresses a lot in the winter time and stuff but it's just too cold like she wants to wear year round this is amazing for that because it's nice and thick this was inexpensive too I think this was like five dollars or something I decided to hit up Kohl's which I haven't done in a very long time but I really like their jumping means lines which is just like a basic line that they have there um really cute patterns and stuff so I will show you most of these are more on the play uh play clothes style but still really cute these are Eleanor's um and they're just little heart black and pink little hearts so adorable Ollie has her version which have a different pattern on them and they have some gray hearts in there as well they both have this pattern these are Ollie's pants but they have like unicorns and stars and bunny rabbits and the foiling on the tails and the stars oh super cute those are Ollie's Eleanor has a long sleeve shirt 
of that pattern and it has it's like kind of peplum -y, has a little ruffle on the bottom Ollie has one of these dresses. I just thought this pattern was really cute. It gives me like fairy tale vibes. I love when they take like pastels and then do like a dark gray or a dark color in the background. I think it looks really cute. It's a really basic little dress. These are called recess dresses made for twirling all day. I just think they're really, I think that's so cute. But these are so inexpensive. They're like $7, $8. And I like the quality of them. They do a good job there at Coe's. Um, this is Eleanor's dress, which is probably one of the favorite things I've purchased, and it's a little kitty cat with little kitty cat pictures on the bottom, but there's like little ears that flap. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. Ollie has this little, once again, unicorn shirt. Love the like softness of these shirts. This one has like little metallic stars on it. Um, these are Eleanor's leopard leggings and Ollie also has a pair but what's weird is they, they do a lot of duplicates and sizes for infant and then toddler but the colors are completely different and this, these are the only types of leopard pants they had so these ones are a bit more cool tone and these are a bit more warm tone it's a bit weird I prefer the warm tone but I don't know so sort of matching in that um, and then they both have these matching shirts this is Eleanor's a little bunny rabbit and stars I think it's really cute and then this is olives and the little star it says in the stars it says reach for the stars and olives has a little peplum and then lastly oh nope almost lastly uh, we have this shirt once again more unicorns I couldn't say no I feel like it was like the year of unicorns just adorable and then another recess dress this is Minnie Mouse and I love the little pockets. They have little pockets right here. And it has like little pink piping on it, on the pockets. Cute. I'm not big for character print clothing, um, but I like it when it's a bit more subtle. And I like this because it's not as crazy. Um, and that is it for the clothes. Would you believe it? That was crazy amount of clothes. <laughs> the next thing I'm things are going to show you are a bit more random. Now Ollie's going to preschool so she doesn't really need school supplies. She's only going a couple days a week so there will still be days that she's home with me and I want to still be able to encourage her to want to learn and give her new opportunities to create and learn through play. So I'm trying to think of like fun activities she can do. She's been really really into art lately um and just creating so i have some fun things for her like that um but i wanted to show you these my mom got these for a gift which was so sweet this is from personalizationmall.com and they're a little back to school board so i know that those signs are really in i did it last year um and actually we did it last day of school pictures and i normally use my letter uh, board from letter folk um but they now have these so we she got these done they're dry erase and i'll just has like how old they were, are, what their favorites are, all of that stuff, what they want to be when they grow up. She got Olive one and she got Eleanor one so I can have these for my memories. So sweet. And then, um, like I said, I like to be able to do activities. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, like I said, I like to be able to do a lot of activities with Olive and do just like fun things and encourage her to learn. Um, and if you guys don't know what magnet tiles are, you're missing out. Um, these magnetiles are from Mikasa Tiles. These are actually um, a brand that I purchased beforehand. I purchased like the regular set of magnetiles. And then the company actually reached out to me and wanted to send me some other magnetiles. And I was like, heck yes. Because one, if you don't know, like magnetiles get incredibly expensive, like crazy expensive where it doesn't even make sense. For like 20, you're spending $70. I don't. Like, Zulily always has them on their site and stuff. They're, like, such a great deal, and they're still, like, $55. And I'm like, the, why are they so expensive? But Picasso has them for great prices. This pack of 27 is $17.99. And the reason that I love these and got these ones, even though we have the original set from them that has, like, the triangle shapes and stuff like that, is because these actually have letters. So... Um, this has like a letter S. Can you see that? It's probably hard for me to see. See that letter S on it? 
um, and it's raised and so they can actually feel the litter and trace it with their fingers. This has like the letter U. And the reason that I like these, apart from the fact that if you didn't know what magnet tiles are, they're basically just magnetic tiles. And there's no like opposing magnetic fields because there's the magnets kind of like turn and twist and there's ones on every single nook and cranny. Um, but so they, you can create with them. Ollie loves creating. They literally, you just, they're so cool for kids. She started out not being very good at them and now can create amazing amazing like castles and it's crazy to see her mind growing so this is a really good stem activity which is basically science technology engineering math um she loves building now and creating and i can just see her growing and growing with her shapes and stuff and these are just so cool you can do so many things with them but another thing she's obsessed with doing right now is spelling even though she has no idea what she's doing she's still learning how to do her letter sounds she knows all of her letters and most of her letter sounds but we haven't even started really reading yet but she's like obsessed with spelling her name and wanting to spell words and these have letters on them so she's going to be so excited i haven't showed these to her yet i'm actually about to take them over there and she's going to freak out but these are a great activity when i'm working with eleanor or some of the other little kiddos that i do at our home daycare and all need some quiet time at Activities. These are amazing for quiet and they literally will keep her busy for like an hour which in toddler life is like an eternity and it's so nice. So highly highly recommend these. These set of um, 27 are $17.99. Didn't get this video is not sponsored. These were sent to me for free yes but it's honestly my 100% opinion. I have purchased a full set of Picasso tiles before way before this company even talked to me and when they reached out again I was like heck yes because I wanted more tiles anyway but totally worth it guys if you're a kid this is a great christmas present birthday present amazing i love magnet tiles along the same lines i picked up this abc finger paint activity pad from target i believe this was three dollars and you have like your little finger paint stamps up there and then you just go in and stamp along things so here's the letter e and you so if you would like use color to finish the eggs pattern right here so I would take the color yellow and stamp it in the circle or do take the color purple and go along the zigzags or they have like just all of these fun activities where you can create your own bugs all of these fun things like I said all these super into art right now and creating and just wants to do things she's always asking what she can do next so this is a great option um it's another quiet activity three dollars okay so we do have a couple of lunch fun things i love to do lunches and do fun lunches and this is ollie's first year where she'll where she'll actually be able to have like a lunch away from school and let me tell you this is probably the thing she's most excited about going to preschool is having her own lunch which is so funny um so we have a couple of things i got just basic ice box these are from igloo they came in purple and pink and these are from target i think i spent like two dollars something these were really cheap uh, this is from the dollar section from target it's a mini and daisy little snack cup cute um this is a sandwich cutter this is the little puzzle shaped cutter now this is from cat and jack and right now in the lunch section uh, like back to school section they have tons of these cutters they have heart shapes they have little kitten shapes they have star shapes if you want to start doing like fun cute kids lunches go right now um i just thought this one was really cute and one we didn't have and then we got some ice packs once again this is from cat and jack and cat and jack has really cute ice packs right now too um this one's a donut they have rainbows i think they have dinosaurs all really fun cute ones too and then some food picks they have different types of food picks as well and i just thought those ones were really sweet all of those were like a dollar 99 they were inexpensive and last but not least is i had seen something on pinterest before and it was like a backpack fairy and basically the backpack fairy just brings fun things on the morning or the night before the first day of school and it fills your backpack with fun little things to keep you excited um help give you some courage and bravery for the first day of school and i know some of you guys can be like oh my gosh you like truly spoil your kids and i do and i don't care i'm gonna continue doing it so i have a couple things that I'm going to fill her little backpack with and I hope she's super excited. The first thing, this is actually from 
um, Target as well, and it is a pencil pouch. It's one of those like crazy little sequin ones that go back and forth. She's obsessed with these things, and this will keep her, her occupied for an hour, and I'm hoping her sister will actually really like this too. I'm sure Eleanor will love to like fill around this thing. Um, and although she's not really taking pencils to school, she does have little markers. I'm gonna get her a fresh new pair of crayons and put it in there. And um, I'm also going to include some watercolors, like I said, crazy about art right now. Um, and just fill this with fun like craft things that she can do. I also got for her bag some slime. She had no interest in slime up until like a week ago and then it was like slime, 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 slime. And let me tell you, every time I've tried to make slime, which has now been five times, I've never successfully made it once. Kindergarten, kindergartners can make slime, but apparently I cannot. So. I am buying pre-made slime. Um, found this in the dollar section at Target. Perfect if you don't want to make it. Um, this was like a rainbow twist one, which I thought was kind of cool. So it's purple and like a reddish pink. And then we had a neon pink, which is like totally up her alley. So those will go in her little backpack as well. <coughs> Obviously she won't be taking this stuff to school, but it's just fun things for her to get excited about. Um, I got her a ton of hair accessories. She's super into doing hair. She loves watching Sunny Day and uh, Minnie's Boutique and Fancy Nancy. And so she's obsessed with hair things. So I found these little hair elastic ponytail holders. They're bejeweled. They were super cheap from Walmart. But they have little bobbles on each end and I just think those would really cute. And then we have the Mountain of Bows. So I did get a JoJo Siwa bow uh, really cheap off of Zulily. But these bows are like $16.99. Why are they so expensive? These are crazy. Um, but I did get her one of these. It's just fun and metallic uh, sequined with tons of different stars on them. Kind of matches her shoes. It was cute, but good lord, those things are expensive. Um, instead, we got the knockoff bows from, uh, these are from the Scoonchi, Scoonchi. I always say scrunchy. I always thought it was called scrunchy, but not, you know what I'm saying. The brand that we've all known and loved since we were kids. Um, we have a giant purple one and a giant pink one. Love these. These are like $2 compared to like $16.99, which is crazy. This was from Cat and Jack. I just thought this was really cute. This can work for her. For Eleanor, this is $2.50. And then I got her a little something, which some guys are gonna, some of you guys can be like, I can't believe you got her that, but I got her some lip gloss. The kid loves makeup. This is clear lip gloss. This is from Wet n Wild. It's just one of those really l barely anything clear lip gloss. Um, it was like a dollar, and I just thought this would be nice to make her feel a little happy, a little girlier. And the thing, the big thing that they said on the Pinterest thing of like the backpack fairy was um, a little keychain. So I found this keychain. I don't even know where I got this keychain. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it was Target. Don't really know where he came from. Thought he was a unicorn, but um, he looks like a cute little uh, deer, maybe. But he's rainbowed and he has like sparkly little antlers and little feet. He's cute. We're gonna clip him to our backpack and he's gonna be our special little friend who's gonna keep us company. So that is it. This video is gonna be crazy long. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched till the end, please put a thumbs up or a heart in the comments. Let me know that you stuck it out with me. My voice is already going. I've been sick for like two weeks now. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to this and watching this video. I hope that I gave you some ideas or if you wanna go, are you going back to school shopping? Are you going back to school? Are you excited? Um, are any of your kids going back to school? I am ready for the new year to start and just fall time and pumpkins and Halloween. I just can't wait, guys. I can't wait. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really, really, really helps me out and means the world to me. And I love you guys so much. And uh, thank you for watching yet again. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.